good afternoon everybody thank you uh, mr negi mr arya and uh, our esteemed friend jal from the environment i think you guys did me a great favor setting me up uh, i have been listening to a lot of talk on regulations and stuff but fundamentally we are engineers so what i'm going to talk about is technology and negi mentioned that we have not invested in technology uh, mr arya referred to it and i i hopefully will uh, show some ways technology can help to protect the environment so what we are uh, going to talk about is fault current limiters and how that can help so the concept is very simple if i can figure how to use this yes this is impedance on demand for one sector where you don't need to add new transmission lines for one piece of the problem because of fault current limiters we have a solution you do not need to go and build new lines you do not need to build new substations hopefully you don't uh, damage the environment for that one problem we have a solution and this is by using new technology using superconductors as you can see in the graph if there was no fault current limiter the uh, peak current would go very high which will damage a lot of things if you put a fault current limiter you can mitigate that by more than 50% and this is by putting impedance only when there is a fault only when there is a short circuit so you're not increasing transmission losses you're maintaining your efficiencies and all the other benefits these are several installations that applied materials has in the world we have it in new york california australia and uh, coming up in thailand so this is no longer something on uh, a research paper or powerpoint this is actually happening on the ground and these are commercial systems do you guys uh, solve fault current problems today in different ways yes these are not the optimum but you do this we split the bus very common but we are giving away reliability we use high impedance transformers we are increasing losses we use current limiting reactors again increase losses we upgrade all the bus bars which went from 30 kilo amps to 40 kilo amps to 50 now 63 tomorrow 100 i don't know till where it will go on so we are showing you another option that you can use so let me spend a uh, couple of minutes on this slide uh, which talks about the concept of a fault current limiter not not very highly technical no no very very quickly very simple impedance on demand yes in normal operation uh, you don't want any uh, losses it should be a pure conductor when there is a fault you want to increase its impedance well before the first peak this is the most damaging piece and you want to diminish the fault significantly and most important when the fault goes away which it normally clears in around uh, 100 millisecond you want the uh, uh, superconductor to come back on all this can be done by using superconductors or by using uh, solid state semiconductors so for high power you do superconductors and how does it work now what you see in this box is a superconductor and a reactor a superconductor has a property that at a set current it will change its property to be a superconductor to a resistor you set the current based on your load current and you design the superconductor tape to that level so when the current reaches that level it becomes an insulator or a, a resistor actually the current now will flow through the reactor and this reactor is designed along with your system impedance to reduce the fault to the level you want so very simple concept you uh, design your system to have a impedance in play when the current happens when the fault happens and this all happens in 1 millisecond and this is just like water converting to ice or water vapor so there is no electronics it is by the physics of the device so you are using the physics of a superconductor to solve a critical problem so what are the things that are involved in this there are three main parts you have the reactors that i mentioned you have the cryostat which have the superconducting tape and you need liquid nitrogen to keep the superconducting tape please conclude at cp current please so let me conclude with this slide for a independent power producer what are the advantages of using a, a, a fault current limiter you can increase the generation you can uh, 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 connect more power you can reduce the length of transmission lines you don't need to go find a substation where the fault currents are less you can uh, higher enable higher distributed generation and very important you can improve the quality of power with this you can see you can do lot of things with technology 
let's adopt technology. Let's not be followers. We can lead with technology. We have great scientists here in India which can uh, develop and adopt this technology. Thank you.